Hello everybody, this is Antibody here, bringing you a commentary for a public capture of the flag Three, match. Two, one, begin. This particular match is on the map Dance, and uh, the server is House of Capture the Flag, which is operated by Doku. Thank you, Doku. So, right off the bat, I'm, I pick up the mortar, and uh, I go towards the next area, but that's all I'm the first weapon, so therefore, you know, it doesn't really surprise me that it's not there. Red flag return. In either case, the mortar's a pretty good weapon for that platform down there, as it has pretty good push. Meaning that if you if you hit in the proximity of any of the uh, of the blue guys, which I'm on the red team by the way, if you hit any anywhere near the blue guys, it's gonna push them either away from the flag or off the platform, both of which are good. Okay, so after checking out um, our flag area, I'm going to venture out to the midfield and then, and then make a go for the flag. And I'm, I'm picking up the, the little health as I'm going along, just so I can uh, survive an attack a little bit better. I've got the flag here, and what I do is I, I laser right before that front opening, because what often happens is, is people try to shotgun you or next you right as you're going in that tunnel and by being in that air when that happens uh, you increase the chance of them just pushing you towards your flag which is exactly what happened right there and push me home in uh, six seconds or so it's crazy okay so i died uh, first things first going for next uh, i've got a rocket launcher but um i'm gonna go for the next to to get that long range accuracy here. Note that, you know, once again, I, I'm picking up the, the 25 health. The, the red team, that is, doesn't have a flag carrier right now, so I consider it pretty much a free-for-all for the for the little healths and armors around. Uh, the only thing I'd recommend for newer players is, is don't take all the weapons right off the bat. Save some for your teammates so they can help with the defense as well. Great shot there by Happy Man. Yeah, we've got the flagging again. I'm heading for that same hole. I'm not sure I make it that time. Nope. It's hoping for the same thing, but this time I, I really didn't have enough health. I think I got hit a couple of times on their flag platform and knocked me down too low. Uh, so that just and knock me right out. Here I have the flag again. I'm gonna take a different route this time. I popped up above the upper platform, and because I did that, it, it kind of broadcasts exactly where you are, because anybody can see you anywhere on the map. So what I do in that case is I, I can, uh, go down to the uh, tunnel below through that middle gap. Um, people don't automatically suspect you from doing that. They still think you're gonna do the upper platform. So at least for a split second there, you have a little advantage where you can play the cap. Chasing after their flag carrier with a shotgun, which that's pretty much futile. Um, the shotgun's really good for pushing people off this lower platform or this upper platform, even, um, but it's pretty worthless in the midfield when you're, you're not going to have a chance of pushing anybody off. Um, for uh, close range and maybe just a little bit less than uh, mid range shotgun's great, especially that secondary triple blast. We're about five minutes into the game. Scores, um, I pick up the next and made an immediate shot there. Um, so the the game's 2-1 two, two now with Red in the lead, but um, I want to make a note there that if you're, even if you don't have a weapon um, and you're waiting to pick one up, you should get in a good habit of, of aiming your crosshair towards any enemies coming around because whenever that 
weapon spawns and you get it, you can hit your fire immediately and you're already done it. Anyway. So, in summary, I guess it doesn't make much sense to aim off into space when you can be pointing at a, at a guy from another team in, in hopes of picking up a weapon in time, which I did there. You also note that when I pick up weapons, I'll, I'll switch to it really quick and then back to the next. What I'm doing in that case is um, I have a bind for my A button to go to my last used weapon. So when I pick up the weapon, I switch to that and then the next. That way I can do a quick next shot, hit A, and then I'll have my rocket launcher ready for some quick combos. I find this a little bit easier than... Um, you know, I have binds for the rocket launcher and the mortar, etc., etc., but I find just hitting A to be a little bit quicker for me. I'm just kind of meandering around our uh, our flag area in hopes that you know, our flag carrier is going to come in and um, could maybe nail some of the blue guys falling behind him, which often happens. It's coming up over top, so that's not going to happen. Somebody just picked up the blue flag, so we'll see if he's coming around this, this tunnel here. Um, you can see on the waypoint is health, um, so you can pretty much guess if you need to. If you need to be rushing towards that person, if he's close and is low on health, you may have a chance to pick up that flag and cap in his stead. Or if you know it's pretty far away and it's uh, it's useless, and just stay back and guard your flag. So uh, definitely make use of those waypoints out there. Okay, somebody else has picked it up. Look like they're pretty low on health, but we'll see. Triple kill. And he falls. <laughs> One thing to note, over there uh, up on the left is our next platform. Always be wary of where your next is because the enemy's gonna is gonna try to, to camp your next and and take that option away from you. So it's pretty important to guard your next even if you already have one, just so that your other teammates can get it, get more offensive power. Okay, so we just scored again. It looks like three one red. Um, you'll notice that I. I I peek just slightly around into the tunnel, see if I can see a blue guy following around our flag carrier. That way, if uh, our flag carrier does get killed, I'll at least have my crosshairs on uh, who killed him and give us a better chance of picking up a flag and capping if, he does, if the original flag carrier doesn't. successful attempt at uh, trying to push somebody around here. Uh, here's a good example of where uh, where the shotgun can come in handy. That was a little bit less than mid-range exchange between me and uh, P180 Luke. And uh, I came out on top because I had a big spread and the push on the shotgun, which I, I think disorients him. Or disoriented him. Okay, so I'm back with the next uh, in the corner corner of our flag area. Course three one about eleven minutes ago. Blue flag taken. And someone just picked up the blue flag, but they're looking really low. So who knows what's going to happen here? Oh, but they may they may coming out. So I'm peeking around, checking in the tunnel, making sure nobody's following them. Um, bring them home. Make sure your cap's okay. You also note that throughout the match I'm using some binds to communicate what I'm doing. Uh, whether it be that I'm on defense or kill the flag carrier or if I'm you know, attacking, um, I'm using the keypad binds that I think come default with Nexius um, to communicate what's going on and, and what my intent is. And I think 7, the keypad 7 is defending, and the keypad 9 is attacking. 